everyone, Sluice from Skullbusters, and today I've got the R92 CP, the fastest car on Sardinia. This car will go round in less than 23 minutes and do a lap time of 127.7. Now I can't take credit for this tune, uh, it goes to user Turbo Datsun on Reddit, he shared this with the Gran Turismo community and he achieved the lap times. Uh, best I could manage was a 129, low 129, but he managed to get down to a high 127. So, go for this tune. If you've got this car, go for it. You will not regret it. So, racing medium tyres, and then body height, we've got 69 to front and rear, and then we're on the anti-roll bar, 8 at the front, 10 at the back. Damping compression, we've got 20 at the front, 32 at the back. Damping expansion, 30 at the front, 42 at the back. And then natural frequency, 3.5 at the front, 5 at the back. Uh, negative camber, 3 at the front, 2 at the back. And then no toes at all, keep them nice and straight. Diff, all set to 5. And then downforce is 502 at the front, 1600 at the rear. ECU 100, leave it as it is, no ballast, and then power restrictor set to 68. Now the gears you're going to mess around with, but if you set them to 370 at the start, and then if you change first down to 175, you can even change it down to 190 if you want. Um, that just gives you less wheel spin if you like. I changed it to 175 just so the turbo kicks in a bit earlier. And then for the rest of the gears, 2nd, 230, 3rd, 280, 4th, 330, and 5th, 384. You're going to want a medium RPM turbocharger, and then you're going to want to set your brake balance to 5. Now if you're better on the corners, um, you could change that down to 3 if you want, and that'll give you a bit more understeer, but a bit more, a bit harder braking. And that's it, there's no other tuning to, apart from that, so let's get into the lap. So we're going down the back straight here, full throttle, all the way down to the turn and as soon as you hit the crest around the 150 mark, you're going to want to brake, bring it right down to first and then let the car roll around the corner. Get on the power as soon as you can, get the turbo spooling and then full throttle around these two corners on the chicanes, taking it right out to the outside, braking around the 50 metre mark, letting the car roll into the corner, getting as much uh, rotation as you can. Same again for the second corner, bring it down to about 60 and then full throttle to the next hairpin. Break it about around the, just after the 50 mark, bring it to 80 mile an hour and then as soon as you know you straight it, get floor it so you don't get much oversteer and then you're going to hit it all the way down to the back hairpin. You're going to break around the 150 meter mark, letting it break, 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 break and then turn in so that you're still breaking as you turn into the apex like half on the brakes and then accelerate out. Chicanes, you know what, I'll break a bit before this one. So you're nice and tight to the corner and then let it roll round and then accelerate out to the end. Final hairpin, breaking round the 100 metre mark. Again, turning in as soon as you can. Still made a mistake there. And then you're flooring it out of it again. The only, it's the only place this car struggles, uh, just getting the power down when you come out of a corner. There's a lot of turbo lag, so the more you can carry your speed through the corner or get on the power earlier the better the lap time is going to be this is the best lap i've done with it so far but i no doubt this car can go faster like i said turbo datsun did a 127.7 i'm only a b rated driver so if you're above that you could probably go faster than i can so in terms of strategy it's very simple you're going to want to stick it to fuel map 2 when you start That'll take you up to lap 8, you might just fall short slightly, uh, you might need to change to fuel map 3 on the final lap around lap 8, the end of lap 8, and then after that just go to fuel map 1, change your tyres, and you breeze all the way to the end. It's a dead easy car to drive, and it's, it's just perfect, I hope they don't change the PP again, because it this is actually a really good car to drive on this track. And again, shout out goes to Turbo Datsun on Reddit. It's an absolute dream to drive. I wouldn't have tuned it like this. Um, 
it sort of goes against all the understeer principles on the front, but somehow the whole car just feels nice and stable and secure. You know what speed you need to be going, and then when you go on the accelerator, it's not like it's crazy understeer. Right, thanks for tuning in, folks. And we'll see you all next time. Adios.